in this video what we'll be doing is uh we'll try to resolve one a very important problem what we have or uh, consider that uh you have uh, to save a per you have to save your wi-fi credentials and wi-fi password let us study you have to keep on changing that uh with respect to various different places you go ahead or uh, let us say that there is one string which is going to remain constant let us say that your name this should remain constant across all the this this uh all the time but the problem is like oh uh, you cannot store that permanently right like uh, whenever you uh, upload a new code everything of the previous is gone or let us say that even though there was something uh added you, you have uh, given a new code out there that you have uploaded a new uh, sketch out there and then there was some data which has been received or which has been updated in the run but when the it turns off and again turns on everything is resetted right you don't really have a space to go ahead and save that permanently no matter like you turn it off or you reset that or you press an enable button whatsoever it is you don't have that so one of the implementation earlier we used to do was use the eprom double ep rom to go ahead and do it but that was not really uh, very much uh, efficient out there and currently we have one thing called preferences which is by uh, like which is amazing it helps you to go ahead and store the data permanently into the flash memory of your ESP32 out here, which is really, really amazing. It has a lot many use cases. We'll be also discussing multiple use cases and you'll also be seeing me using this preferences in multiple different projects going ahead from here now. So let us give you a quick overview of what exactly is this, how it, this happens and what are the different things we have into it. Let us start from here. So let's understand what exactly is this. So this will help us to go ahead and save the data whatever we have into the flash memory which will help us to keep the data retained let us keep the data uh, stored permanently even though you reset that or even though there is a turn power going off or turning off whatsoever it is your data will be stored into this permanently out there so this is really going to help why do we need this it will help us to go ahead and keep our data retained here important data retained here that is it might be your uh, uh, API tokens, or might be your credentials, or might be your Wi-Fi passwords, or might be something which was updated on the runtime, and then you want to have that data for the next time out there, so you can have that retained into this thing with the help of this preferences. Then I have just mentioned a few use cases here. For example, you can use this to save any data permanently. Might be a Wi-Fi data, might be a GPIO state that's general purpose input output pens states. For example, uh, what happens like uh, you might have turned the pin number thirteen on, okay? Maybe that was connected to some light, fine. For some reason, the power went off or this turned or the you that you turned off or whatever whatsoever the reason is. When it turns on, what happens? Like they are all on again, right? But you have turned it off earlier. So you need to have that state. Like what is the state currently? Or let us say that you want to know, like uh, you have turned on the lights and something you have done in the home. Let us say that you have made some uh, connectivity and you have turned on something and turned off something. And later you want to know like what is it, what is the states. So where can you like no matter like uh, with ir irrespective of power failures or irrespective of whatever happens, you want to know like where exactly has what is the state of it. So how will you get that thing? So you can use the preferences which will have the state, and you can go ahead. You can also use this for saving credentials, or like maybe API keys and all of those things. You can use it for that, and many more out there. That's up to you. How can you implement that thing out here? Now. Let us see the implementation here and I'll take you through the quick overview or walk through into it and see like what are the different things we have into it, fine? So first thing, the way we could implement is we just need to include the preferences library in the sketch and we'll have the preferences library in our Arduino sketch. You need not uh, externally uh, go ahead and uh, install that or add it to your Arduino IDE. It is by default that when you install the ESP32 board manager, that is by default there, okay? I have just listed two important functions here. There are four actually. That is one is a get, one is a put, so, and one more to our like start, that is begin, and one more is end. Let me just write down here. So one more is your begin, and one more is your end. So the get will get that data, put will put that data, that is uh, assign the data to that. Begin will uh, start the preferences, and we'll finish the end the preferences fine so the awesome thing is like it supports various different multiple data types out there i have listed all the things here so you can just see this 
it supports so many out here. So you can see this, for example, I'll give you a quick example into what do I mean by get and uh, get and put. So example, you want to put some data into it, right? Okay, you want to assign some data. We just do is like unsign long, put you long, right? Or put float. So this will enter the data or you can say save the data or you can say like uh, assign the data. And then when you want that data back, you can write get care or get short, whatever it is, get int. So we'll get back the data to you, okay? They'll get back the, or retrieve the data. So I will list it out here. You can check out this uh, in the document PDF attached below. So you can check out that in the next section. So here, always we need to begin and end to start with this. And the way these values are stored are in a key value pair. If you have, or uh, if you remember the Python dictionary out there, it's exactly the same. For example, you have saving a Wi-Fi credential. So the preferences will have a name, right? So that you can give that name Wi-Fi. And then inside that, you may have something like uh, SSID. And the value for this would be something, uh, Ahmed, let us see. And uh, pass, I'm just giving the this thing. Let us see, um, AH, fine. I was giving an example so that you understand this. So, so it will be stored something like this. That is, we'll have a uh, name of the preferences, name of that particular thing, and then the key and value, key and the value. So when you, uh, let this, this might be name, and then you put a variable, uh, get whatever the data you want to put it, and similarly and so on. So this is how this is stored out there. So let us just, uh, this is all about this here, and you can check out these things and let us get started into hands-on here and see like, what do we have with this? All right, so let's get into it and proceed further. So let's move into this uh, Arduino ID here and then I have a quick code here and uh, as the code is going to be smaller, I'll write down along with you all here uh, so that we can proceed further. All right, so what we'll do is uh, let's go get here. So first thing what I'll go ahead and do is here, like I'll get the uh, start the sealed communication out here that is at 5200, right? And the next important thing is I need to go ahead and uh, include my uh, library that is preferences library out there right so i'll just get this so this will help me to go ahead and then get the things so i'm including the preferences library now i'm not including the preferences library out there now let's go ahead and start uh, with this that is uh, important functions of that so this is a quick spelling mistake here and then what i'm doing is i'm uh creating an instance of my uh, preferences okay i'm just creating an instance of my preferences now let us begin the uh, preferences up here. So preferences dot begin. And what I'm doing is I'm just creating like credentials as a name given to that particular preference. Okay. Now let me go ahead and then I uh, start with the uh, put string. Okay. So I'll be using the put string with this and then uh, we'll go ahead and have a look into that. Okay. So let's just see this. Now what I'll do is uh, here's the quick uh, name of that. Okay. So this is going to be the key of it, right? So let me just write key as a my password. Okay, this is the key I'm giving. And here I need to give the value to it. So let me just create a few variables here. Or I'll write string here and then write my uh, password equals to, let me just give some value. Let's say that Ahmed password. Okay, this is the password I'm giving to it, fine. So let me create one more here that is a uh, string or uh, string username equals to, I'll just write here, uh, I'm mean, fine, this is my username, all right? So, uh, so first thing is, uh, I have this, so I'll just pass this one, that is, this was the one going to be, uh, the value to put this, that is for the key, my password, fine. So this is my first one out there. Similarly, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, copy this, control C here, and uh, control V there. And this one, I'll change this to my user name. This is the key I'm using. And for this, I'll pass username. So the value of the username that is at the will go to this my username. And the value of the my password will go to the my password key up there. And which these two are the keys inside the credentials preference. Okay. And now, finally, I need to go ahead and then P R E F E R E N C S dot end this. Fine, but just before ending this, I'll go ahead and write a serial dot begin, serial dot begin, and I'll sorry serial dot print, balance. I'll write uh, successfully saved to, successfully saved to preferences. 
Well, I'll just write this one and good to go. All right, let me just upload this code here. And before uploading the code, let me just open my uh, com here, communication here. Everything seems to be fine. I'll just upload this here. And I'll not save the sketch for now. I'll just open this preferences here. And let me see like what's happening with this. So once it is uploaded, I should be getting this data. And then we'll go back and cross check it by uploading a new code and that, that credentials should be a routine into it. So let's just, just do this. So it's uploading the code out there. I'll just uh, press this boot button here. And uh, yeah, the upload has begun. Now, let us see. So I couldn't, I didn't really get any data here. Uh, hello there, wide setup, serial.begin and print hello there. I couldn't really get any data here. Let us just uh, cross check because I don't have, let me just do one thing here. I'll just uh, write here serial dot uh, print ln then write done. So I just, just I want to know like if this thing is being done. So delay of every one second, I just want this. I'll up upload this quickly out there and uh, proceed further and see like what happens with this. So I'm trying to upload this now quickly and uh, let's wait for it to happen. Meanwhile, I'll just open this uh, sale monitor also and you see the sale monitor is, so, okay, it gave me an error here, exception that is, it doesn't exist. Let me cross check here. It is there. So let me press sale monitor. Nothing is coming. It's fine. I'll just upload this again. Save this, not save this and uh, get back here. Yeah. So let it upload this quickly. We'll see it then. I'll press the boot button here. Remember, this is not really required in the uh, recent boots out there, okay? So it was pretty much quick, I think. So these things are quickly done, okay? And then it went to the loop. So this I couldn't see, really see this. Let me know what I'll do is I'll quickly go in and cut this from here. I'll cut this from here. Uh, for these four lines, control X out here, and then I'll go ahead and uh, print this here, control V. But this time I'll change this slightly. That is now I want the data to be back, right? I'm going to upload a new code sketch, but I want this data to be retained, that this should be present in my memory of that. So this one be empty because I'm just giving empty here because I want the value to be coming in from the this thing. So what I'll do is I'll create a variable here not the variable, I'm mean, like just call these names. I'll make this empty, okay? I'll make this empty. So I'm relating this and I'll take the value from down here. All right, I'll just write here, uh, my password, my password equals to take the value from here. Similarly here, what I'll do is I'll write username equals to this one, preferences and then this thing. So that the value should be taken from this key and this key and to be stored in this and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and write serial dot print serial dot print and I'll just give my first one is my password uh, my password let me just see like this able to get that retrie retrieve that or uh, ln fine right? in the new line similarly serial dot print ln and then I'll write username username so and finally Successfully saved to the preferences. So I successfully, uh, I do not want save to preferences. Instead, I will just select this and put you on tab space. Okay. Mm, successfully retrieved. Let me just upload this and see what happens. Control plus upload this now. And I should be getting the values back, right? I should be getting it values back now. That is the data has to be uh, retrieved from this our preferences from the flash memory and then show it to me. If that has been happening it, then we are successfully done with this. And you can create multiples of those and so on. And you can literally see a lot of data into it. So let me just show it. Uh, let us check this first and then have a look into it. Done, okay. So see this, Ahmed and Ahmed password. So Ahmed and password, Ahmed and password. So let us just cross check this. Uh, what is the thing we had earlier? So my pass successfully retrieved and done is getting printed, fine. 
and uh, after that my password has been printed as ahmed password and then ahmed, right so these are the password we had given earlier there right so yeah we are getting it fine so now the data is successfully retrieved from the uh this thing even though we uploaded a new code into this but still the data has been retrieved from the memory that is flash memory that was permanently saved now if i reset it wherever it is the data will always be there so this is how we can use go ahead and use the preferences and this will really help us to get the things being done out there so i'll see you in the next video and how can we go ahead and clear this because once you create multiples of these preferences and multiples of these keys value right you don't really delete them so you need to completely format that so i'll show you how can you do it